Rogers Show, starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Back to you, Will. Uh, I can't rightly tell yet. Nothing. We've searched every part of this mining country. Maybe we don't know enough about prospecting. Maybe we ought to quit and go back to Nebraska. Back to Nebraska? Back where everybody will be saying, I told you so? But, Will. Listen, when I go back home, I'm going to have money, and a lot of it. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to get it this way. There's lots of other ways of getting money. Not even any water left. I know. And no grub. Come on. I told you not to load Nellie Bell down with all that food. Well, I know we're only going to be gone overnight, but what if something happened? We had to spend six or seven days. You know, seven days without food makes one week. <laughs> Get it? Seven days, one week, a <laughs> week, seven. Uh, besides, I think I can get this thing fixed in the jiffy. Look. If I ain't mistaken, that's a load of groceries in that contraption. Sure looks like a lot of supplies, but... But what? We're hungry, ain't we? We got guns. Come on. I think I found the trouble. It'll only take a minute, we'll be off like a hound dog after a pop. -up. I'll believe it when I see it. Get your hands up, both of you. What's the idea? Just keep your hands up, that's all. Lou, start unloading them groceries and put them on the pack horse. Now, what's this all about? We... We haven't eaten in quite a spell, and... it's a lot of grub you got there. Is that the only reason you held us up? Yeah. We've been running in a lot of bad luck prospecting. Our grub stick ran out. Then why didn't you come up peacefully and tell us? You don't have to turn outlaw just because you run into a little bad luck. Yeah. Nellie Bell's carrying too much anyway. We'll be glad to give you some grub. Get your pack horse and we'll help you load up. Pick up your gun. Well, I reckon they were just desperate. Then again... Well, they're certainly not professional outlaws. We sure thank you and we're sorry. That's okay. But remember what I said. You're both young and you have a long life ahead of you. So don't take the wrong road now just because you've run into a little hard luck. Come on, I'll let you up. Well, good luck to both of you. Same here. Thanks. And we won't forget this. Come on, let's go. One of those boys is okay, but the other one still acts funny. Yeah. Roy, it looks like you and me is going to have to go on a diet. Well, let's don't worry about that now. Let's get started. Looks like as good a spot as any to set up housekeeping. Yeah, deserted mine in town. I wonder if they took all the gold out. If it's deserted, you can bet the loads are all played out. Well, it's worth trying, eh? You still bet on prospecting? Haven't you had enough? Listen, I told you I ain't going home broke, and I mean it. Well, we'll talk about it later. Let's get these supplies unloaded and cook some grub. Mmm, this bacon smells good. We're gonna be mighty snug in here. Do we have any luck at all? We're going to be sitting pretty. Mm. Look, Hannah. Ghost town. Uh, we ain't the only ones here, Joe. Look at them horses. 
I reckon some folks got here first. Well, now that's going to be real neighborly. <laughs> Get up! by, my wife Hannah and I, and we thought maybe we'd look in. My, it sure smells good in here. Joe, behave yourself. Don't go hinting around for an invite to dinner. This is my partner, Will Clement. I'm Lou Woodburn. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Joe Salem, and this is my good wife, Hannah. How do you do? Why don't you sit down and have some grub with us? Lou, this grub ain't gonna last long. You forgetting how we got it? Come on, sit down and make yourselves at home. Don't mind Will, he's kind of hungry. Well, listen, young fellas, we got some grub in the wagon. Suppose and I get some fixings and make you a real mouth-watering apple pie. Hannah, that's a real smart idea. <laughs> you know, she's the best cook in seven counties. Hey, reckon I can wash up first? We ain't got any water either. Why, we've got a rain barrel full. I'll get you some. And don't you worry about Hannah and me having a place to sleep tonight. We'll bed down the wagon. Lou, are you gone plumb loco? We ain't got enough for ourselves. You go inviting some family in to eat with us. Oh, simmer down, Will. You heard what the lady said. She's gonna make us an apple pie. And Pop's got plenty of water. They ain't gonna take nothing from us. Well, as I was saying, the land we homesteaded was sandy. No water. No nothing. So we decided to pull out and try someplace else. <laughs> Anna and I ain't young any longer, but we're still trying to find us a farm. What are you boys doing here? Prospecting. We're hoping the gold ain't played out in this vicinity. Well, as long as you keep trying, that's what counts. I'm going into town in the morning and look up the homesteading situation. <laughs> uh, come on, Hannah. Let's hit the hay. <laughs> Good night, Lou. Good night, Joe. Good night, Will. Good night, Lou. Good night, Hannah. Good night, Will. Good night. I don't think I won another cup, man. Oh, come on. We don't charge for a refill. Thanks. This sure is good coffee. Good. I'm glad you like it. Oh, Roy and Pat must be back in town. Well, hi there, Willis. Hi, Roy. Hi, Dale. Pat. How are things? A little bit slow. Where's the rest of the food? Pat, surely you didn't eat up all those supplies. Food? Supplies? <laughs> Roy got big-hearted, handed it out to a couple of hungry prospectors. <laughs> I suppose you didn't want me to. Excuse me, mister. Weren't you saying something about hungry prospectors? Yeah, a couple of young fellas running in hard luck. Yeah, it must be Lou and Will. You know them? They're up in that old ghost town with us. <laughs> and they're still running in hard luck. One of the boys wants to quit and go home. But the other one has got the gold fever real bad. How much do I owe you, ma'am? Well, now, since you're a new customer, this is on the house. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I reckon I'd better be getting back. I don't like leaving my Hannah alone too long. Well, just a minute. I don't like to be nosy, but uh, what are you and your wife doing up in that old ghost town? Prospecting, too? No, we're sort of getting our bearings. We're figuring on homesteading someplace around here. Well, the county recorder has a map of that territory. He can tell you what land's available. I'll have to see him some other time. Right now, I'd better be getting back. Those boys giving you any trouble? No. One of them's kind of ornery. But he'll grow out of it. Thanks again, ma'am. I'll see you when I get back to town. Next time, bring your wife with you. I will. Bye. 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 Dale, there's something wrong someplace. I feel that too, Roy. You know, I'll bet that old fella hasn't got a cent. Those young prospectors haven't either. I wonder if they're sharing the food we gave them with the old man and his wife. Well, there wasn't enough to share in the first place. In the second place, they're not the sharing type. Well, that old man's proud. He wouldn't ask anybody for anything. That's why I think we ought to find out what's going on. Those boys almost turned out, Lon. If things go wrong again... Mm, you got me worried. 
Pat, take over for me while I ride out with Roy and see what's up. Okay. And don't try to make up for all that food you gave away. Who, me? Well, I ain't got no more appetite than a flea. I've been so used to eating right that my poor little old stomach is just shrunk down to the size of a wart. <laughs> oh, let's go, Roy. Boy, oh boy, alone with food at last. <gasps> I told you the mines around here all played out. Yeah, but prospecting ain't the only way of getting money. What do you mean? Wait a minute. Somebody's coming. Hey, that's the fellow that gave us the grub. Yeah, wonder what he wants. Here, bullet. Well, come right in, folks. Howdy. You must be Hannah. Yes, I am, but how'd you know? Your husband, Joe, was just in my restaurant. I'm Dale Evans, and this is Roy Rogers. Well, I sure am pleased to meet you both. Where is Joe? I've been expecting him. Well, he said he was coming right here. As a matter of fact, he left before we did. Well, them old horses of ours, you know, they're not as lively as yours. Why don't you sit down? I'll fix us a cup of tea. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, I clean forgot we're, we're fresh out of tea. Oh, that's all right. We were just passing by. Uh, Joe said he was going to stop in town for some supplies. Maybe that's what's keeping him. He probably stopped by the store. Hello. We here. Look at the... Well, now, this is real neighborly of you to come up and visit my Hannah. We were riding by, and so I would stop in and say hello. Say, that's a real catch of fish you have there. Yeah. A little flour, some shortening, salt and pepper. Uh, you don't mind if we speak frankly, do you? No. Go ahead. I've got a hunch those two young prospectors are eating you out of house and home. Well, they're big fellers, and of course they got big appetites. Well, that's no reason they should sponge on you. Why don't you two come into Mineral City with us? Dale can put you up. She has some rooms over a restaurant. Sure. It'll only be till you find a homestead, and Roy can help you with the county recorder. He knows all the land around here. We'll help you get a good start. Well, but... Uh... Uh, Joe, I think we ought to do it. Well, what do you say? How about packing up? Well, uh, supposing I just cook up this mess of fish for us and the boys, and, and we'll be down just as soon as we finish eating. We'll be expecting you. Don't take too long. Oh, well, we won't. All right, what's on your mind? I'm ready to pull out of here, but like I told you, with a lot of money. Yeah? You and I are going to rob the Mineral City Bank. Oh, no. You have the sheriff and the posse after us. We'll never get away with it. Yes, we will. Now, listen to what I've got in mind. We'll get the horses first. I wonder what's keeping them, boys. Well, maybe I'd better go and... Well... Hello, Joe. Anna? What's been keeping you, boy? Sit down and have your dinner. Yes. Trout. Joe caught him. Oh, Lou and I are going in town for a little while. Well, as a matter of fact, Ham and I are, too. Roy and Dale offered to help us find a homestead. Wasn't that nice of them? Sure was. See, this fish really looks good. Uh, would you mind doing us a little favor, Joe? Would you and Hannah mind waiting for a while till we got back from town? Well, we promised Roy and Dale we'd leave just as soon as we finished eating. We won't be gone long. Don't be yellow. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Give me all the money in that cash drawer. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't shoot. Gunshot! Oh, boy! Sight! 
They'll sure need me. There's a prospect you can get the grub to. What happened? They just tried to hold up the bank. Can't go find Roy. He's out looking for a homestead for the Salem. Right away. Hey. Boys, get in that cabin. Go on. What's the matter? Will's been wounded. Oh, it's just a scratch. Well, it'll have to be bandaged. I'll get some hot water. Joe, you sit down and stay put. Feels okay. Now you get over there and sit down with Joe. That sheriff and his posse is going to be here after Lou and me, just as sure as shooting. That bank teller is going to give them our description. But they're not going to get us. You know why? Because you're going to tell them that we got away. Or I'll shoot Hannah. Will, you can't mean that. You're out of your mind. No, I'm not. Nobody's going to put me in jail. Nobody. And Lou, you better ride along with me. You know, you're just as guilty as I am. You can't mean what you say, Will. Joe and Hannah have been good to us. We can't blame them because we made a mistake. Lou, I know you're yellow, but if you do anything to spoil what I've got in mind, you'll get it too. Why don't we make a run for it and leave the Salem's alone? Because we wouldn't get very far. That sheriff and his posse know this country better than we do. We'd be caught in no time. Well, you're the one who wanted to go home with a fortune. Shut up. Now get outside and hide them horses. Joe, when the sheriff and his posse get here, this is what I want you to do. tried to hold up the bank. Well, I'll be swiggered. Have you seen them? No. They said as long as we were pulling out, they would do. I wonder what they're palavering about so long. If they try any tricks... When they leave? This afternoon? Well, I guess I'd better finish packing up the wagon. Well, I guess we better try to pick up their trail back on the road. Yeah. You're driving me part of the way. I'm not taking any chances of that posse bushwhacking me. But you promised to let him go. I've had enough out of you. Oh, no! Now get on out to that wagon. Now, Joe, you and Hannah get up on that seat and drive toward town. That way we'll avoid suspicion. Remember, Joe, if you don't do what I say, I'll shoot Hannah first. Now, get going. Come on. Come on. Sheriff, we better split up. You and the posse continue on seat. You can pick up their trail. All right, Roy. Come on, boys. Come on, Dale. Hey, ain't you going with the posse? No, but you are. Well, just a cut and pick a minute. What's the idea? Pat, I have a scheme all worked out, so don't spoil it. Well, I sure didn't figure that we'd be outsmarted by a couple of juvenile delinquents. Come on, Bullet. Playing second fiddle to a dog. Nellie Bell, they ain't gonna leave us out of this. <laughs> 
Take a look at the place they were staying. Them two rattlers might have come back. You never can tell. I didn't like the way Joe acted. I'm going to take a look in there. He's forcing Joe to drive him. I'm going after that wagon, Dale. You stay with him. He acts like he's hurt pretty bad. Well, let's stay with Dale. Let me see this fella. Wagon? Just a moment ago, and everything's fine and dandy. Will's in that wagon, forcing Joe to drive him. What? I've been hornswoggled. Let's go chase after him. Now, wait a minute. You better stay here. If Will sees you again, he might start shooting. Nellie Bell, no matter which way we're ahead, that ain't it. So I guess we better stay here. Good night, girl. Continue into town now. Oh, oh thank you, Roy. Oh. <laughs> According to the county recorder, this is the best land available for homesteading. Oh, it seems too good to be true, Joe. It's going to be a lot of hard work, but I'm looking forward to it. We have another surprise for you. Lou. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Joe. Oh, hello. <laughs> good to see you, son. Since Lou has no mother and father, Roy persuaded the sheriff to parole him to you to help you prove your homestead. Oh, how nice. I always thought Lou was a good boy. What about Will? I'm afraid he's got to do time. You see, he really turned outlaw. But Lou knows he made a mistake. I sure do, and I don't know how to thank you. You just helped Joe and Hannah. Well, maybe someday the place will be yours, Lou. Yes. Hey, look here, look here. I've made some of my famous whipped cream cake to celebrate. Yes, sir, there's nothing like whipped cream. Lots of whipped cream on whipped cream cake. That's what I always say about whipped cream cake. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and here's some for you, too, Bullet. <laughs> I guess you can call me the cream of the crop. <laughs> Happy 
happy trail.